The epitome of caramel pudding is pot de creme, and this is how to make a rich, creamy, velvety, smooth pudding sous vide style. I scaled 50 grams of cane sugar and 25 grams of distilled water into a saucepan and started to heat the sugar up gently on medium heat. I scaled 50 grams of whole milk and 150 grams of high fat cream together in a small mason jar and set it aside. I shake the pan occasionally to help distribute the sugar but I never use a spoon to stir the mixture because that would cause sugar crystals to form and create an uneven cooking. It only takes a small part of the sugar to burn to create the caramel, so cooking sugar requires constant monitoring. I separated two egg yolks into a small bowl and set it aside too. I have a bowl of ice water handy in case the hot sugar gets on my hand. I can dip into the ice bath to limit the damage. I cooked the sugar to amber color and added the high fat cream and milk to stop the sugar caramel from getting too dark or overcooked to an unpleasant, overpowering, burnt sugar taste. However, if I do not cook the sugar long enough, the caramel pudding will taste more like sweetened cream that is not very exciting to eat. So I try to cook the sugar right to the edge. If I take it too far, I simply start over. I can dip the bottom of the pan in ice water to cool the cooking sugar down faster if needed too. I stirred the caramel with a rubber spatula to help melt the sugar back into the cream. I slowly whisked the cream into the eggs. Tempering the yolks helps to create a better custard. If I added the yolks after the caramel cream was cooled, the final custard is more dense, has less volume and becomes more jello jiggly like instead of velvety smooth. I added a splash of vanilla extract and strained the hot egg custard through a fine mesh sieve and into a mason jar to cool. I placed the custard into the refrigerator to cool completely before cooking it further because I believe this also helps to improve the texture of the custard after it has been cooked. I divided the custard between three 125 milliliter mason jars and fastened the lids on airtight. I added the jars to a water bath with an immersion circulator set at 85 degrees Celsius and set a timer for one hour. I like to use canning jar tongs to remove the hot jars from the water bath because that is what they are designed to do. They allow me to move hot mason jars around with a firm grip with less chance of the jars falling and splashing near boiling hot water on my hand and forearm. The custard was literally canned in sanitary condition, so if the cooked custard is sealed and stored in the fridge, the pudding has a long shelf life. The jar should pop when the seal is broken. Sous vide works perfectly for custards because it cooks the entire custard to the same consistency. Stove water bath methods can be undercooked or overcooked, so more skill is required to achieve the same result. To garnish the pudding, I whipped up a small batch of Chantilly cream. I added a few tablespoons of high fat cream to a mixing bowl with a sprinkle of cane sugar and a dash of vanilla extract. I placed the bowl on top of a folded kitchen towel and whisked the cream until it was thick. I scooped a dollop of the whipped cream on top of the custard. Chocolate and caramel are a perfect flavor combination so I dusted the top of the cream with cocoa sugar and chocolate shavings. Chocolate shavings are easy. I scraped a flat chocolate bar with a paring knife to get little chocolate shards. I placed the pudding on top of a bowl to catch the garnish that does not end up on the pudding to make it easier to clean up. A simple decadent caramelized sugar cream pudding that is perfectly set and has a rich caramel flavor that lasts for several minutes.